Today I wanted to talk a little bit about the importance of a magnet in testing. We get a lot of items in here that people bring in saying they're silver. When you have a rare earth magnet you can just simply pick things up like this and you find out immediately they're not silver. So that item we immediately hand back to the customer. Here's an item. This necklace was bought from a place called the Sterling Silver Store. They brought it in to me. Unfortunately, it's not sterling silver. Uh, so you cannot depend upon the reputation of a place to, to tell you the truth about what their items are. Here's another chain. Now, if I was testing the clasp, like right here at the end, I'd expect that to be magnetic because there's a little spring inside these clasps. But when you touch the chain, the chain itself picks up with the, with the magnet. That's not, not silver. Here's something that might be a gold, appears to be a gold chain. Now the color was all wrong on this. This was found in a storage unit. It's not magnetic as you can see. But there's a very easy test to test something like this. You simply put it in your hand, rub it back and forth like this, and smell. And if it stinks to high heaven, it's copper. It's the same as, as the, if you're handling coins, uh, lots of your clad coins. If you're, if you're sitting there as a cashier handling those all day, you'll notice that your hands stink. Now here's something that appears to be a gold ring. As you can see, this is not gold. Here's a couple of little bracelets that were brought in. They look to be silver. But as I went around on them, I found out that they weren't silver. And here's a medallion that was brought in along with some other silver. Not silver. The funny thing is today, when people bring in, and here's cufflinks. Gold cufflinks, silver cufflinks, doesn't matter. Most of them aren't genuine. Very rarely will you find a genuine gold cufflink. Um, most of these items that come in, like sterling silver, if it's marked with the word sterling, 99.9% .9 of the time it's genuine sterling silver. If it's marked with the .925 or the number 925, it's 40-50% of the time it's, it's silver. The rest of the time, it's just bogus. So. Uh, you have to do an acid test on things. Sometimes you get items in like this little mirror. And this mirror, you might say, well, I'll just put a drop of acid on here and test to see if this is genuine. Now, this mirror happens to be plated. And in the acid test, it does turn a bright red. But it's a plating. And if we were to now put on some, uh, in that spot where we tested, we were to put some uh, gold ass on that plot, spot, we'd probably start to get a bubbling from the material underneath. But uh, this was not genuine. This is, this is, uh... I'm going to go ahead and put the gold ass on the back of that plated mirror, see what we get. Wow, see it turn green? That shows you that we have something besides silver on this, on this item. So, when you're testing things, guys, first thing, use your magnet. Bear in mind, if it's nickel, if it's steel inside of it, the magnet will pick it up. If it's something like this, where it's uh, copper, the magnet's going to not do anything, and uh, except maybe at the clasp. The clasp might be magnetic, like this little cheap clasp was attached to here. Uh, the clasp will be magnetic, but the only way to tell on something like this is to take a file, if you look right here, there's a file mark. If you put some gold acid in that file mark, you'll find, it'll bubble up green, showing that it's copper. Um, and you can always use a smell test. Uh, just simply put it in your hands, rub it back and forth, and as soon as you smell your hands, you'll know that this is not real. So, some very simple tests. Uh, besides uh, the electronic testing, your scratch testing, and your magnet testing, you can use all your senses. The first sense I used here was to look at this and say the color is wrong, so it's not gold. Number two, 
the uh, checked it with the gold tester. I don't remember what this one tested. I'm sure it was tested as not gold. But we'll put the electronic tester over here for a second. Flip it on. Yeah, it says not gold so this is a case that the the plating was pretty much worn off of this piece so the electronic tester would have told you immediately it wasn't gold but your senses and your smell should already told you it wasn't gold so anyhow that's just a little bit about testing guys we'll talk some more about it in the future